Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have another chit chat get ready with me for you guys. I really thought it was like a nice idea to make another one of these because first of all I actually do sort of have a reason to get ready but like specifically not today because today I'm actually not doing anything else. I just got, got home from uni and I just wanted to film this video. Like the makeup hair and outfit I'm going to be doing today is actually for the 80s concert which I'll be attending on Friday. However, I just won't have the time that day to do a film a whole get ready with me. So I thought, let me just film it today. So let's pretend that I'm going to 80s today, okay? So I already have my outfit on which I'll be showing you guys at the end. So basically, I'm gonna do my hair and makeup now and I want to do it like chit chat style again. Like first of all, can we look at my nails? They're absolutely gorgeous and they definitely fit with my full black outfit. Thank you so much, Nora. If you watch this, love you. She did my nails for me. So yeah, I'm gonna go get started now. It's probably going to be a long video, so grab yourself a nice snack, a drink, and or maybe even your makeup if you want to do your makeup with me together. So yeah, enough rambling. Let's get on with the video. Okay, so I'm actually going to do my hair first I washed it yesterday or should I just like I don't know I think I want to like wear it up wait I do have to grab my hair accessories for those yes got them here I think I'm just gonna wear like my hair up I washed my hair yesterday like yesterday I came home from like the student association or at least like one of the how do you say it in English like commissions of the student association like they organized like this quiz at this pub and just all like korea themed it was so fun me and my team ended up second so that was still good but it was so much fun but when i came home i really realized i had to like take a shower and definitely wash my hair because my hair was so greasy and i just felt filthy so i want to take a shower so that's why I washed my hair yesterday or else I had to get up like a lot earlier today because I had my class at like 9 this morning and I didn't want that so let's see how am I going to do this whatever I'll just do this I'm just gonna clip it later so yeah the quiz was very fun it was getting quite late so I came home at like 12 so for those who don't watch my vlogs and maybe this is even the first video you see of me I'm a university student and I'm a university student majoring in Korea studies and this week my second semester began and I really want to like tell myself to actually try to make the best out of my uni life as much as possible so I also really want to attend like nice activities like those like the quiz yesterday and obviously I definitely want to like try my best at uni like I passed everything last semester but and obviously this my friend was texting me in the group chat I'm someone who almost never puts her phone on do not disturb mode unless it's really like I really feel like I don't want to be bothered by my phone the whole time which is like not quite a lot but most of the out of times it is or if I just don't want to hear anything, I'll just like, you know, silence my phone on do not disturb. Mm, I think I have to like... Yes, I have to do at least one more bobby pin. Yeah, it's such a mess here, like, oh my god. I have so many things. Yes, I found one. I haven't worn my hair like this in a long time. But I think for this look, it's gonna be very cool. Yeah. So this is my hair. I've shown you guys like in my vlogs and stuff or other get ready with me's many times how I do my hair like this. So make sure to watch that. Also, I'm still getting like a lots of views. Sorry, I'm just like tidying up my all my hair accessories. I still got a lot of views on my updated to hit to a wavy hair video and. A lot of people just seem to love it and I'm so happy like also I got lots of comments that people were just like were like uh, dealing with the same type of hair as me and they didn't know what to do so they were really like oh I'll try it out and stuff like that so I'm very 
very very happy that people actually enjoyed and absolutely they definitely learned something from it so yeah i'm very happy about that but i really do feel like i do still want to make like wavy hair videos but it's just my since my hair has been so short i really feel like i cannot do anything much really so oh also let me just shove my bangs out of the way so now i'm gonna do my makeup so the makeup look I actually want to go for is actually something with blue eyeshadow. I don't think I've done anything like this before on my videos. I really want to like spice things up with my makeup looks because I really felt like it was always the same. Because, you know, I always like those natural tones and stuff like that. So, and since I'm going to 80s, I really want to like do something colorful with my makeup. So I think I'm going for blue, so that's going to be interesting. Actually the pro of like filming this today instead of Friday is like, oh no, I dropped the cap of my primer. Pro of actually filming this today is so that I can sort of like experiment and see what I want to wear on Friday, so yeah, I'm so excited for 80s by the way guys because um, I've already seen them last year in May when they performed in the Athos Live in Amsterdam. I had VIP tickets that day so I also like had a high wave after and I actually got to wave with the members. I actually have a vlog about it so make sure to watch that vlog if you haven't. So I can't believe that in less than in less than a year I'll be seeing them again in Amsterdam and this time they'll be performing at the Ziggo Dome. The fact like I think this is their third time in the Netherlands already. And the first time they came here, which is like right when they debuted, they performed at such a small venue and look how big like it upgraded. Like from the smallest venue, I think it was in the Q Factory, I think, all the way to the Ziggo Dome. Like that's amazing. Like BTS also performed in the Ziggo Dome back in 2018 in Amsterdam. I was there. Oh my god. The fact that B I actually saw BTS live in a sold out Ziggo Dome still crazy so I actually went to the BTS yet to come movie in Amsterdam last Friday and I really really enjoyed it it was like their concert so the yet to come concert in Busan so it was basically like a concert movie and I really enjoyed it and it really made me think of the times that BTS was still like my old old like don't get me wrong I still love BTS but sometimes I feel like it's a crime to admit that BTS is not my old anymore like it's people just look at you so weird like huh why like why like as if it's a crime to not own bts anymore because obviously if you guys watch my videos a lot you know and hyphen is my ult like it's just things like that just happen you know and why should i feel bad about it that bts just isn't that high on my list anymore like why should i feel bad about it like it's not a crime you know like things can change and times can change and stuff like that so and like don't get me wrong like i literally love bts and after if they could all come back from the military and they would make a comeback again i would definitely enjoy it don't get me wrong like i still support them i still love all the members so much yeah i guess it's just it is what it is so by the way, I'm not gonna like, if I don't mention every single product I use, everything will be in the description down below, so don't worry about that. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Okay, so I'm actually going to be using the NYX Ultimate palette, like the colorful one. I think I also used this palette the last time I went to 80s, which is so funny because I actually used the purple tones then. And I also made a reel about it, so make sure to watch that too. So, since I'm going for blue, I, like, which brush should I use? This one, maybe? Okay. I'm gonna take this, like, bright blue one here, if we wanna focus, and I'm going to be taking that all over my eyelid. Ooh, it's very bright and pigmented, which we love. Slay. Yes. I like this yeah anyways how have you guys been like if you would ask me how I'm doing like you know sometimes people like if I can talk for myself like when people say I'm always like 
I'm good, how are you? Like, you know, the standard. But if right now, if you would ask me how I'm really doing, then I would say, not perfect, but like, it's just, obviously, if you guys watch my vlogs, you would know I was quite, I was on a winter break for the entire January. And it's just, during the time, I just have been doing like, a lot of thinking about life you know and i just started to like i don't the, like i lie there were times i definitely the past few weeks i was definitely like kind of down and just like wasn't really in the mood to like talk to anyone to be honest but i'm now doing a bit better but it's just i've also been so busy lately Anyways, what was I saying? Um, yeah, so I've also just been doing a lot of thinking and especially since the beginning of this year I really was like wondering for myself like what I want to achieve this year and stuff but like I think the hardest thing what, what I'm going through right now is literally questioning everything in life when it comes to the people who are currently in my life like like there's not there's not any any drama or anything, so don't expect me to spill the tea or something because there's definitely not any tea to spill. But it's just I don't know. Like obviously I know so many people in my life. I'm in contact with a lot of people, like just friends, you know. But I'm really just sitting here wondering. Like, wait, hold on. It's just with a lot of people. I'm literally here like. What added worth do they have in my life? Or maybe with some people, I'm like, do they still make me happy as they used to? Like, it's just, especially since you get older, you're really with like, you really notice like who your true friends are and what exactly you need in people. Because if, if there are people in your life who don't add anything positive to your life, like, I just rather not have them in my life at all, even though it would hurt. Especially if you're very good with some people, but it's just some things they do or whatever just really brings you down or yeah, it's just like I don't want to get into too much detail because like Some things are special some things are definitely too personal to share here So I don't want to go into too much detail about like who I'm talking about or whatever But it's just like I'm really trying to like even though I'm like almost 26 like I'm still like getting to know myself, really like trying to figure out who I am and what I want. Like I sort of, like I think everyone has that that they think they know they've already figured it out. But once certain things happen in their life, they're like, oh wait, I haven't. So yeah, like I know I don't know. It's just all things I just have to figure out myself. That's basically what's life for me at this moment. Like. I am seeing my therapist tomorrow, so I'm definitely also going to talk to her about this. Like, I have a very good one because I know there's like quite a stigma on like psychologists and therapists, and especially a lot of people I know are always like, like quite negative about them. But I do have to say, I am like quite lucky with mine because I really feel like she listens and doesn't give like unnecessary opinions or advices. Like, she really knows what she's doing. I know some people are gonna be like, yeah, well, she gets paid for it, but I do, like, obviously, yes, I also got paid as a social worker. But that, that doesn't really mean that I wasn't genuine with anyone I was talking to, like. Like, yes, it's, it's your job and you get money, but, like, that doesn't mean that they're not genuine, like. Maybe there are some, like, out there who basically really don't give a fuck about what people go through and they're like here hey i'm just here to get my bread but i really feel like if you don't want to pursue a career in like being like in psychology or anything at all i'm like don't even do this because i really feel like especially since since i have been a social worker i really have to feel i am really here like you really definitely have to have a lot of empathy and patience and just like you know able to understand people when they talk to you about their problems like if you're just gonna basically sit there and like i don't fucking care then i'm like don't do this job like definitely not because also people 
clients can definitely t tell when they really don't give a fuck speaking about it like yeah at the same time i don't know if i do want to talk about it on here like especially i know I've, I've mentioned it already before but like i know i am keeping certain boundaries especially here on the internet like i'm not sharing too much personal stuff about me because i really feel like it's just none of anyone's business and also i really feel like it can be used against you so i don't want that either but i really honestly don't know where i'm going with this all of this if i'm totally honest with you like with everything what i'm saying i don't know i want you guys to feel like that if i'm doing this just like ready with me you can like you know as if i'm on facetime with you guys like i want to make it sort of vibe like that like and you guys are listen just or maybe you can like talk about it in the comments as well like everything i said and maybe we can have like a little conversation who knows i am really digging this blue eyeshadow i love it i honestly don't know what i'm going to do with the party next week like what makeup look the theme is like lunar new year so they told us to come in either like a bunny sort of outfit or costume or bunny ears because it's the year of the bunny Oh, they're the rabbits. Oh my god, I keep saying bunny, but it's rabbit. I know it's like the same, but people don't say the year of the bunny, do they? Like, but anyways. Or you can just dress up in like red or gold, basically like those kind of colors. I actually bought, actually I bought this top, which I'm wearing right now at Bershka, which I'll be showing later. But I bought another top also from Bershka. And I'll be wearing that to the party, so it's very like red with like a sort of oriental style, which I really love. So I thought that was perfect for the party. It's so funny because yesterday, like I said, uh, I went to like this pub quiz. And right before, I got my nails done by my friend. And we were chilling at her place. It was literally all spontaneous, to be honest. Like, we actually had a completely different plan. But then, when I was talking about getting my nails done, and she was talking about her, she was like... Well, you can come to my house now, then I can do them for you. So we basically all end up chilling at her place. And it was so fun. Like, we literally... Because there were also some other people there. I think it was like the four of us. Yeah. It was very fun. We ordered pizza. Basically talked about every, lots of things. Like, like I did really do have to say I really enjoy my time at uni. I really feel like I'm literally having a great time. Made some nice friends. And you know just really living my best life so i am really really grateful about that and also like happy so so i'm now doing my brows i always hate this part but like i know i shouldn't be doing my brow concealer after eyeshadow but same time who cares you know so like i'm not a pro so I justify it with that like I'm not a pro what I also just noticed recently like even though I'm going to like a party next week it's just for some years I've never really felt like a party person at all like even though I am 25 I know they say a lot of people are like oh at that age you should party and stuff but like literally ever since I was like 21 I really just haven't been a big fan of parties like don't get me wrong like it's not that I absolutely hate it like I, obviously I've been to a club here and there but like but like it's definitely not something I would do on the regular or like every week there was this one time I went to the club like two weeks in a row and at that point I was like no I don't want to go with their time like I need to like take a break for at least a year I felt like it's just at some point it just can get so overwhelming like, I'm definitely not an introvert, but I do really have introvert moments. Like, I'm really just someone who prefers to stay at home, like, either sleep or read a book, than go to a party every week. Like, obviously no shade to people who love partying every week. I'm like, if it makes you happy, you do you, you know? So, if it makes you happy, I'm like, go for it. But, like, it's just, I want to I wanna do that. Like, personally, I really feel like... It, it's just basically it's not for me i feel like so you know wait i really need a mirror for this hold on Ugh, i can't wait to set this 
foundation and concealer because it just looks so weird and everything like i really feel like on camera it's sort of looking fine but here not ah it's not not at all but yeah coming back to what i said on friendships like with some friendships i'm just really not sure if i would continue them to be honest if i'm brutally honest like it's just something i have to figure out myself for now so okay finally going to set my face and I always hate this part because powder comes literally everywhere. On my sweater, on my pants, everything. Like, I hate it sometimes. But we gotta set the beach. We gotta set the face, you know. Using Laura Mercier Translucent because that is my favorite. Maybe, like, I should have, like, a, you know. How do you say it? Like maybe a list of topics to talk about in my chit check out ready with me's because i sometimes really feel like i don't have any idea what to talk about i just realized tomorrow's a new episode of boys planet but i cannot like watch the whole thing because i'll be out tomorrow like obviously going to uni and stuff like so i definitely have to watch back at a later moment so yeah, but I've been loving Boys Planet lately. Like, Song Hong Bin, I love him. Also, Matthew, I really love him. Like, those, those two are besties. Like, I was like, oh my god, Slay. These two definitely need to debut. Who, are, who else are my favorites? Song Hao, like, the center from the C group. Uh, C, C group? G group. I still am with Girls Plan stuck in my head, where they had, like, a K, C, and J group for Korea, China, and Japan. But now for Boys Planet, they did like just Korean and international. So the G is like global. It's so funny because I really felt like the phone is ringing again. I think most of the times, sorry, completely jumping from subject to subject. But like when you guys hear a telephone uh, in my vlogs, like I think you can hear them quite a lot of times. Luckily, no one asked why is a telephone going off the whole time. But yeah, it's basically... People call, that's all I can say. Like, I really feel like I cannot sometimes go into too much detail about my family because I also think think they wouldn't appreciate it if I did. Like, also, that's why you never see, like, anyone of my family on my vlogs because they just don't want to, which I totally understand. So, yeah, in case anyone probably wonders, like, oh, why do we never see something of your family or stuff like that? like they just don't want to and i respect their privacy yes my face is whole set and everything in here is dirty i have to like grab my wipes hold on also i think you guys probably have noticed but i'm just going to like you know say it again like i have been uploading less on youtube like i used to upload like uh two to three times a week sometimes even four but yeah, as you guys could have tell, it has become less now because also, like I mentioned it, I think I've also mentioned it in my previous vlogs, just in my winter break, I wasn't really feeling the best, like, creatively and also mentally. So that's why there were only, like, basically videos once a week, which mostly were, like, vlogs. So, but I really want to, like, be creative again with my videos. And definitely upload more again but at the same time i'm literally here like i do want to like do my best at uni even though i did pass my first semester i really want to give my all especially in second so and i was actually also thinking of like making like study vlogs or like uni vlogs like yesterday for example i finally had the courage to take my vlog camera with me and vlog like at the actual like pop quiz with my like uh, uni mates and it was so much fun and i absolutely really like how especially people at uni like support my videos if you guys are watching shout out to you guys love you so i really appreciate it so i think i was like you know what let me just try to take my vlog camera more and try to vlog on campus a bit more like, also I vlogged today, but then I didn't, like, use my vlog camera, just use my phone. But I just really want to, like, you know, also use my vlog camera a lot more. 
contouring my nose a little yeah so i really want to make like uni vlogs study vlogs i really love watching those aesthetically pleasing study vlogs and you know uni vlogs especially i've been enjoying sarang ho's videos like uh recently so yeah like sometimes i literally like i'm scared that my videos are not like aesthetically pleasing enough but at the same time i don't want to focus that on that too much because i really feel like if i'm gonna do that i'll literally stress myself out for nothing and i don't want that so i just want to make my videos like really fun to watch and then not really care too too much about like if it's aesthetically pleasing or like you know i really like creating content like that and then also at the same time i could really like combine it you know like studying and also just make content at the same time but i don't get me wrong i will still like try to make like videos as k-pop related content and you know like videos like these like those beauty ones and also routine videos also like collecting related videos i'm still waiting for anhypen's comeback i really think it's gonna, probably going to be at the end of march or the beginning of april like they just like completed their manifesto world tour oh my god i just realized in a couple of hours it's going to be jungwon's birthday in korea and i'm so excited like jungwon he's my ult i love him so so much like jungwon if you don't know jungwon is my ult then you don't know me well <laughs> wait let me at least apply some lip balm I'm actually quite curious to find out how long this video is going to be. Let me open this highlighter, yes. Actually looking at it now, I really enjoy doing my makeup. It's just, if you guys have noticed, I've been like quite lazy with my make like makeup lately. Well, not really with my makeup at all, it's just very lazy as in not applying makeup at all. Like just be you know i basically only wear makeup if, if i have like a special location to go to like for example the past like month i had like two or was it even three yeah i had like two birthday parties of friends so then obviously i, I always put on makeup because it just looks nice you know i'm just gonna apply my setting spray I think that was a bit too close to my face, but whatever. <laughs> okay, I have to be quite concentrated for this part because I'm gonna do my eyeliner, so I cannot talk too much because if I do, I'm gonna mess up my whole eyeliner, so. I think I'm just gonna make my wing like very tiny. I like that. Okay, now try to get it on the other side, the exact same. Okay, I ended up changing it because it turned out pretty different on this side, but I actually prefer this side more than this side. But I'm not gonna wait a too much about it, or else it's all probably going to get worse. But hey, you know, eyeliner, it barely, barely equals, so... Yeah, so that was it for my eyeliner. I'm going to apply some mascara, the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I love this one. Okay, I'm gonna say it again, but I'm definitely loving this eyeshadow. I'm, I think I'm also gonna apply eyeshadow under the eye. That would be pretty cool. I'm just honestly just going... Oh my god. Okay. I, bet, I got a little bit of mascara, but you cannot really see it, so... I'll just ignore it, I guess. But like, what I wanted to say was, there's so much going on in my head right now. Like, ever since this, I woke up this morning... And it's been going on for a while already and it actually has to do with what I mentioned uh, earlier. So many things right now, just overthinking a lot, but hey, I just really hope it gets better. But hey, I'm seeing my therapist tomorrow, so... I'm actually low-key a little bit behind schedule, but will be okay like after i'm done here i'm gonna obviously take some pictures for the thumbnail and also maybe for my instagram and just you know 
Then I'm going to edit this video right away and upload it on the same day. So yeah. Okay, where's my... Where's my brush? No. Okay, here. I saw this one, like, real recently. It's so funny. There's something like... You know what, like, filter or, like, you know, effect? That you put someone on the boat and they're just, like, drifting away with the, like, whole dramatic Titanic song in the background? Like, does this video, like... When your friends send you back to Australia because you keep saying no the whole time. And it's literally me. I don't know what it is, but I keep saying everything with an Australian accent. I really blame Jake from Anhypen. Like, I keep saying, like, no and let's go. Like, definitely I'm not, like, trying to, like, mock Australians or something. So, if you're Australian and watching this, like, I'm not mocking you, I promise. But... It just so sounds so funny, and funny because Australians in the comments were literally like, "That's not how we how we sound. Like we don't talk like that at all." And so that was funny. I'm gonna lie, this eyeshadow vibe and everything with the makeup so far it really gives me '90s vibes. Like I remember, like back in the '90s. Like I've only lived for three years in the '90s, and then we were already in the new millennium. Based on what I saw from the '90s, it was like. People definitely wore colored eyeshadow like this a lot. And it was pretty cool. Wait, I actually want to apply lashes first and then do my under eyes, but oh well. Okay, I'm just gonna apply my lashes now and just do my bottom lash mascara after because I really feel like if I do that first and then my lashes, it's gonna it's definitely gonna go wrong. So oh no. No. <laughs> the amount of times I say no on a day is like quite a lot if you ask me obviously waiting for the lash to get tacky okay now I'm going to oh no oh my god no 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 I got lash glue on my leather pants hold on okay it was easily removable this time okay we're still alive y'all still alive still calm if it, was, if it was gonna be in a different material kind of pants, then I would have been so fucked and I would have cried. Okay, being careful with the lash glue. <gasps> right when I say it, I put on too much. I hate this so much. Hold on. Literally, why is everything going wrong in the second half of me doing my makeup? It's so funny because... Like, on Monday, I had a very good start of my first day because my tram, like, didn't operate in the morning because of something. So I was almost late, but I managed to, like, still make it in time for my, for my first class, which was quite impressive. Almost lots of public transportation are currently sh uh, on a strike, but everything in my city just still operates, which is good. But exactly that one morning, something went wrong. Like, it was like this accident at 6 in the morning, so that's why the tram didn't operate in my area. But I still managed to, like, make it in time. Yeah, I'm really loving this look. I, ke I keep saying it, but it is true. Wait, where did I leave my mascara? I cannot find my mascara now. No, hold on, where is it? Oh, here it is, literally in front of me, like... Of course. Wait, le no, wait, let me just actually apply some radiant setting spray first before i'm gonna apply mascara on the bottom lashes sorry guys if i've been very quiet because especially with like with lashes applying lashes i definitely need like concentration i think it really comes with like things like mascara or eyeliner or lashes you really need the absolute concentration so you don't talk a lot so that's what i have right now Ooh, I like this. It literally gives like manga vibes, like anime vibes, like these eyes, like so cute. Okay, so lastly for the lips, I'm definitely gonna go for a very nude lip. So I'm gonna apply this MAC lip liner in Spice. Oh my god, remember those times? Oh, yeah, also with my lips, like I cannot talk a lot because... I'm applying things on my lips, hold on. 
Okay, so what I wanted to say was, like, remember those times back in 2014, 2015 even, when Spice, along with Sore and Whirl, were always sold out because of Kylie Jenner, because it was known that she was wearing these lip liners. I remember everyone was going crazy for them, me included, so. And I have this MAC lipstick in the color Yash. Like, I really don't know what it is with, like, MAC cosmetics, but I just haven't been a big fan of their makeup as I used to anymore. I think MAC really had its era. Especially back in 2014 and 13. But since then, not really anymore. Or does it? But I just don't know at all. Anyways, but their lipsticks will always be like amazing. Yes! Let me just brush my bangs in place. So yeah, this is my makeup and hair. I absolutely really love it. So let me show you guys my outfit. And finally for my outfit, I am wearing this like long sleeved black top from Bershka. It has to, like this very nice, I don't know what kind of pattern it is. And I don't know what it actually says on here, but I think it's French. It has like this angel wings and stuff like that and roses. There's definitely a lot going on here, but I cannot really see what there is so but i'm wearing this top from bershka it's in a medium and i have this fake leather pants from pull and bear it's been a while since i actually like shopped at pull and bear i don't think i've like bought anything from them in years but i got this fake leather pants in a size europe si europe 38 so and it's also been a long ass time since i've actually fitted the 38 oh my god this whole look really gives like i don't know Especially with this hair and makeup. Gives like 90s vibes. Oh my god, it's actually so funny. And also with like my black nails. Okay, this is definitely a vibe, y'all. I am literally living for this slay. I'm so excited to wear this at the 80s concert on Friday. Oh my god, guys, I'm sorry. I definitely had my moment there. So I have this fake leather pants. They're not like very super tight. And at the bottom, like you have this thing. And they actually have a zip where you can like zip it open or close. And I think I'm going to keep it open. And like you guys know me, I never wear shoes in the house. So I cannot show you my shoes. But I think I'm going to pair this with like some little black boots with like studs on it. Yeah, that's it for my outfit. So that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And of course, subscribe. I love you guys. And I'll see you next time in a new video. Bye-bye.